Alright guys, um, Gavin here from Tags Rugged Steel Products. Um, today I'm bringing you the ATV Weaver. Um, it fits a lot of uh, ATV quads on the market. Um, they're all pretty much this, this similar shape on the back where you've got the grab rail. Um, they fit a lot of the Kawasaki's, Suzuki, Yamaha's. Like it comes with everything. We've got two massive nylon uh, wheels, two bars, and a couple of flat plates. So uh, what I'm going to do now is open it up and uh, show you what's in the kit. We've got the bar there, some spacers, some massive nylon bushes. We've got the uh, powder coated bars here, well packaged. Nice and shiny and red. Two of them, made in Britain. So the other bar, and we've got a, a little bit of a fitting kit. I do know with a lot of these ATV bars that um, sometimes you have to modify them to fit. Uh, not not the wheelie bar itself, but you might need to adjust the fitting fitting bolts because every model's different. They might be uh, thicker on the uh, back end where your grab rail goes. So it's it's pretty pretty simple really. Running your line stuff like you can't build this. You shouldn't be riding a quad really. Um, but uh, there we go. Some of the uh, queries I have back on products, it's uh, pretty <laughs> yeah you could imagine. So it's uh well worth greasing everything up before you go ahead and fit it. So pull them apart. So this main bar, let's get some grease. Any old grease will do. Anything to get it running better. I'll move them up. to the end. Wheel. Don't tighten it right up yet, just keep it loose. Just make it easy when you come to fit it. Then this other bar, you can have it stepped at the back. This would be for like, so if you're ripping a wheelie, you can put your foot on the back to get more of your balancing point, or you can step it forward out the way. So it's entirely up to you really. So I think I'll stick it at the back because I don't know how to wheelie and I'm pretty sure the person who's going to do the video after showing us how it's done, is going to make a dick of himself. So uh, excuse my language here. Got two heavy rollers. Keep it loose. Just stick it on there now and we'll, uh, see, how, see how it goes. So, fitting kit. Just some penny washers and some uh, grip washers. But uh, I had uh, two other bolts ready because someone has over tightened the frame at one time and uh, ripped the threads out of the frame. So, got two longer bolts to chuck through. Um, we need Allen key and 13 mil ratchet. Um, yeah. 
So literally take your grab rail off and then you've got this bit roughly simple, keep it loose. It can be a bit tricky to fit sometimes but what you can always do um, is put individual bars on at once. But I've done it like this because I'm awkward. So anyway just grab it. Once you got that, should be spinning somewhere near. Just enough to come across the ground. There we go. One wheelie bar fitted. So now it's time for testing. So I'll see you in the next part. So wheelie bar's fitted now. What I just want to show you uh, good points of having the wheelie bar on. So now I'm just going to tip it up and just show you. So there now, you, you're bang on your balancing point. You are bang on. That is, that is right there, look. So this, this is perfect thing. If, you're trying, if you want to show off and you want to try and get your balance and act together, this is perfect. Put your one foot there and you, you can start learning where you are, where your balancing point is on the bike. But the beauty thing about having the wheelie bar is you can stay on it. So you can just come off it, so your balancing point is there right there on the edge so you know you, you can keep with it on the floor and then you push yourself a little to the front and then you'll start getting it so next video is seeing a how seeing what it's like in use What? <laughs>